Hello, welcome to Library Class. Now our first job, of course, is to wake up the library lion, uh, who appears to be asleep again. Are you ready? Wake up, library lion. No, nothing, but I'm pretty sure I can hear some snoring. Let's try again. Wake up, library lion. Right. Oh, no, a bit of movement. That's good, that's good. Let's try one more time. Wake up, library lion. Oh, Ooh, you are suddenly full of beans. What's this you have today? A toy monkey. Wow. Wait a minute. Is this a clue for today's story? Oh. Does this story have an animal in it? Oh. Does this story have a monkey in it? Oh, no monkey. Is it another sort of primate? Can I guess? Um, is it um, a gorilla? What? Am I right? You seem pretty surprised. I got it right first try. All right. So you've got a book about a gorilla in there? Can you go and get it? Oh, a book about a gorilla. Kind of fun. Whoa, what, 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 what is going on? Whoa. My goodness, Library Line, you're getting quick at finding these books. All right, yeah. <laughs> well, you're going to have to get it out of my face, though, because... No. I mean, not on my face. Out of my face. Because otherwise people can't see. Well, to be fair, they can see the book, but they can't see my face. Well, I think that might be a problem, yes. Well, we, we just have to disagree with each other on that one, okay? Now, are you going to go back in your box and sleep? All right, he does like to sleep during stories. Um, and uh, do you want to take uh, Monkey with you? There we go. All right, up and down there. And we'll take a look at this story, which is called Gorilla by Anthony Brown. And there's a special sticker on the front here that says 30th anniversary edition. This book has been enjoyed for 30 years. Wow, that's quite an achievement. Anthony Brown, Gorilla. Hannah loved gorillas. She read books about gorillas, she watched gorillas on television, and she drew pictures of gorillas, but she'd never seen a real gorilla. Her father didn't have time to take her to see one at the zoo. He didn't have time for anything. He went to work every day before Hannah went to school, and in the evening he worked at home. When Hannah asked him a question, he would say, Not now. I'm busy. Maybe tomorrow. But the next day, he was always too busy. Not now. Maybe the weekend, he would say. But at the weekend, he was always too tired. They never did anything together. The night before her birthday, Hannah went to bed, tingling with excitement. She had asked her father for a gorilla. In the middle of the night, Hannah woke up and saw a very small parcel at the foot of the bed. It was a gorilla. But it was just a toy. Hannah threw the gorilla into a corner with her other toys and went back to sleep. In the night, something amazing happened. Hannah was frightened. Don't be frightened, Hannah, said the gorilla. I won't hurt you. I just wondered if you'd like to go to the zoo. The gorilla had such a nice smile that Hannah wasn't afraid. I'd love to, she said. They both crept downstairs and Hannah put on her coat. The gorilla put on her father's hat and coat. A perfect fit, he whispered. They opened the front door and went outside. Come on then, Hannah, said the gorilla, and he gently lifted her up. And then they were off, swinging through the trees towards the zoo. When they arrived at the zoo, it was closed, and there was a high wall all around. Never mind, said the gorilla, up and over. They went straight to the primates. Hannah was thrilled. So many gorillas. The gorilla took Hannah to see the orangutan and the chimpanzee. She thought they were beautiful, but sad. What would you like to do now? 
the gorilla asked. I'd love to go to the cinema, said Anna. So they did. Afterwards, they walked down the street together. That was wonderful, said Anna, but I'm hungry now. OK, said the gorilla, we'll eat. Time for home, asked the gorilla. Hannah nodded a bit sleepily. They danced on the lawn. Hannah had never been so happy. You'd better go in now, Hannah, said the gorilla. See you tomorrow. Really? asked Hannah. The gorilla nodded and smiled. The next morning, Hannah woke up and saw the toy gorilla. She smiled. Hannah rushed downstairs to tell her father what had happened. Happy birthday, love, he said. Do you want to go to the zoo? Hannah looked at him. She was very happy. And that's the end of the story. I hope you liked it. If you enjoyed the story very much, this man, Anthony Brown, has written a lot of very wonderful books for children that you might enjoy. And I look forward to sharing some of them in the library with you before too long. In the meantime, take care, stay safe, have fun, and we'll see each other soon. Bye-bye.